well after a fantastic main event with that WBC Super Featherweight World title. The action continues at Muay Thai Grand Prix in Perth. We're at the fight five of the main card. This fight between Andres Rosales of the Legends Academy versus Luke Descurny from Riddler's Dream. This is going to be a full tie rule, about three three minute rounds at the welterweight division. Now I'm joined by local legend, I'll say Australian legend, as an intercontinental title holder and Australian title holder, Jordan Godfrey-St. Jordan. Good to have you back. It's great to be back, mate. What a great couple of fights we just had. Oh, that's been sensational, and what a fantastic, from the, from the amateur card through to the main card, of course the two co-main events, the world title events, absolutely sensational, this event. Absolutely, mate, absolutely. Such great fights, such great skills from all the ladies on the main card. Oh, oh man, absolutely putting Perth Western Australia on the map, they should all be really, really proud of themselves. Brilliant, brilliant. And again, and again, welcome and hello to our many, many people watching this online, both in Perth, in Western Australia, around Australia, but also around the world as well. We've had a couple of international fighters, and at the end of the day, we've had the quality of fights worthy of international attention. So it's been an absolutely sensational night, and congratulations again to Gavin Fuller and Darius Dow, who put on a sensational event at Muay Thai Grand Prix. Now, Andrelis Rosales is coming off six fights, five wins. An impressive looking record there. Um, he's versing Luke Descurny. 11 fights to his name with nine wins himself. It should be an absolute cracker of a fight between two quality opponents. Absolutely. We got, uh, I was speaking to uh, Darren Reese in the red corner uh, back in the change room. He was explaining his boy Luke, this is his first fight as an adult, as an 18. He's been fighting uh, and training out of his gym since he was eight years old. So 10 years at Adventist Gym. Uh, yeah, like you said before, 11 fights, 9 wins. We've seen him on the grassroots Muay Thai, we've seen him building up, and, and this is his first chance to have his first professional fight. First time without the shin pads, so I'm sure he's really excited. So 18 year old to 18 years old to Luke Cerny, and then we've got Andreas, 22 in the blue corner, and, and like you said, a really impressive record 6 fights, 5 wins. Uh, so both of these guys with a really good win percentage, both of them probably very hungry to make a name for themselves on this big show. Absolutely, absolutely. Luke Descurny also holding it. He's a former MTA state title holder as well. Uh, that would be as a junior. Uh, and also... Round uh, one. Here we go. High kick of the skirty, just going over its target. We'll be kicking the right there, return there for Andres. Just looking for that one, two, down the middle. Solid feet there from the skirty. Oh, 
Beautiful technical display here. 30 seconds left in this round. If you're here for Andreas, let him know. If you're here for Luke, let him know. Oh, doubling up on the kicks there, Rosellas. The He's going to take there. this first round. Takes, takes one to the arms from the Skirney. Very nice little yes. shuffling around, topping the legs, getting out of range and kicking back. Beautiful by the Skirney. Good first round. Oh, that's the end of round one. Proud sponsor of this fight, Primo Fightwear, established in Bangkok. Primo Fightwear well, produces every fight gear with new levels of quality really, really and really style. Close first round, wasn't that? The Primo He's objective power is to be the fight early. game's coldest, it's cleanest, and most stylish fightwear brand. Use the code MTGP-AU for 10% of all their products. PrimoFightwear.com. Again, one of the great Muay Thai fighters and, and Muay Thai coaches of, of Western Australia and Australia. He's a great amount of knowledge, and every time he's told Luke to change his game plan, Luke responds very adaptively. He's able to really pivot on the, on the direction of how he sends the fight to exactly what his coach tells him. So he does have a favoured way to fight, but really he's one of those guys that can just do anything. He's got that deep and toolbox to him. That's good. And being able, like you said, being able to take instructions, adapt on the fly, those are all really, really important characteristics of a really good fighter. Because you can come into a fight with a good game plan, but I'm, I'm one of those fighters as well. I like to go in there and just try to fight my fight, but you can't get too stuck in just one idea because you might expect them to kick, and then all of a sudden they want to punch. You might right. expect a low kick, and all of a sudden the head kick. You know, you've got to be able to adapt. You've got to be able to listen to your coaches. And you've got to have a good coach that you trust as well. And that's what he obviously has that great relationship with his coach. He's been working with him for 10 years, working with him since he was eight years old. So that, that bond and that connection, you know, that, that comes with him in the ring. Eight years old. That is amazing, isn't it's it? It's incredible, isn't it? Well, Andre Rosales, coach Chris Watt of Legends Academy, former Australian title holder himself. Great seconds out, seconds out. Day. Round number two coming up. Fight fans, I and feel like on. we need to get behind these two. Let's, let's give them some support. Let's get these guys going. We're on for round two. Let them know you're here. Let him know what you want to see. Solid left kick to start from the security. Same way he started the first round. So it's just missing the mark there. That right leg kick. Keep by the security. That was kick. very smart. It was very smart. He could see he wanted to land the right hand, then it just adjusted to a switch left kick. He knew he wasn't going to land, Bill, and then he went again. Really nice off that left kick. That left kick working very well for the security at the moment. He has mentioned it's his favourite weapon as well. His favourite weapon is a switch kick. kick. Favourite fighter, Super Leg, so an absolute <laughs> legend to, uh, to model that kick off of. That's a. That's certainly, certainly someone to aspire to, for sure. And then we got Andreas in the blue corner, his favourite weapon, the low kick. And who's his favourite low kicker? Liam, Liam Harrison. Harrison. Of course it is. The ultimate low kicker. Absolutely. And there he is. I want to see him do three low kicks in a row. I want him to channel yeah. this into Harrison. There's one. Left kick there, just went sailing past there, Andreas. That one was well timed, just to come in, just across the front of the arms, and a lovely, nice team down the middle. It's quick to switch, is the Cerny, you're very quick to switch. It's an amazing speed to them. There you go, another there nice switch kick. Oh, hands combo by them. Good. Yeah, really nice from the Cerny, that nice record from the Cerny from Andreas. Little hook cross, for a head kick again. Both boys been patient. Oh, kept the catch and sweep there. Nearly sent Luke Scurdy to the canvas. Look to the body, he comes to the head. Boys are starting to dig into it now. Left hook there from Scurdy. That left kick again. Beautiful timing on it. Stalks him into the corner. Real 
patience with this fight at the moment. Nice and light on his feet, Lucerne. Skips out of range, comes back in. Both boys just trying to land some shots, but both very defensive as well. Exchange nice body kicks there. there. Beautiful. Heading into final moments of round two. Oh, heavy low kick there. Time. And that's the end of round two. One more round to go. So this fight is brought to you by Primo Fightwear. Established in Bangkok, Primo Fightwear produces contemporary fight gear with new levels of quality and style. The Primo objective is to be the fight game's coldest, cleanest and most stylish fightwear brand. Use code M MTGP-AU for 10% of all their products. You can catch them at primobuywear.com. So heading into this third and final round, Jordan, are you prepared to kind of say where you feel the edge is sitting at this point in time? It's a hard one. It definitely is a hard one, but I, I would like to think that the red corner is up slightly, just, just by a small margin. Just, he's, he's got the, he's got the front forward pressure. He's landing some really fast switch kicks. We, we go to the blue corner as well, landing some good hands. He's trying to land with the kick, but he is missing a little bit. And I've yep. seen the Cerny, he, he's starting to make him miss and make him pay. You can see his confidence building as he's walking forward. He's still light on his feet. Looking, both are looking really fit though. So we've got another one more round. It still could be anyone's fight. You know, the judges can be scoring it anyway. They're both landing shots. They're both defending well. It's a very close fight. Absolutely, absolutely. No, and, play, and you, you rest assured, there'll be plenty of gas left in the tank for both these young gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, Luke Descurney, really that that left kick was continued. It, yeah. did, it just did not have an answer. It did not and have that's an the answer. Thing, and, it's a, and it's a power shot too. It's not just a flicky kick. You see the speed. Oh. You see how fast he's switching. And it's, and it's really reactive. Like he's, before, like I was mentioning, he didn't want to go for the punch, but he goes, no, I'm not gonna land the punch, quick switch, and there's that kick. Yep. Flush on the arms, strong. Like a curtain rod, just. Just like his uh, favorite fighter, Super League. <laughs> okay, heading into the third and final round. Boy, the Rebel. Round three. Boy, the Rebel Wills, our referee, starting the action. It's been a technical bout so far. But one of these boys Real is going to have to step up and He's take really control like of this it. match like and it. give He's it a nice go. And light. He's quick to adjust. Let's go. Nice to quick to team, quick to check, quick to step. Looking for an up elbow down the middle. Just missing right. the mark, into the clinch. Both boys exchanging quick knees. Yeah, look, he's going to the thighs there. Rosella's targeting the thighs a little bit there of the skirty. Maybe trying to slow him down or maybe take the wind out of that switch kick. Yeah, slowing him down. Hopefully he's landing Liam Harrison low kicks. That left kick again. Good hook and a kick by uh, Andreas. Nicely landed. Oh, a oh. head kick over the top by Luke. Not Knee in there by Rosellas. Rosellas hard knees to the legs, inside, outside of the legs of Luke. Luke with a nice turn, but he can turn back onto the ropes. Referee Roy Wills just breaks him up. Starts the action again. Zellers takes center ring. Just feeling out for an opening. Oh, just looking to set up that left kick again. Delivered two in close succession. Nice low kick there by uh, Andreas. Just trying to keep Luke up against the ropes. Sticking the jab out, trying to keep it, keep it close. Whoa. Looking for a head kick, but slipped back and a beautiful low kick by Luke. That was slick. Oh, big looping hook there from Andreas. Just landing on the guard of Luke, but you can see the power on behind it. Nice teeth down the middle. Both boys really light their feet. Absolutely. Real we've been, light, I've been real sharp. this fight with plenty in their tank at this point in time. They really have, have, have played oh, a very patient game. That was a great return, but that left oh. kick landed flush. And another one. Teeth down the middle. A little shuffle of feet. Exchanging body kicks there. A measured game of cat and mouse going on. Overhanding, quite connect. 
I was close with it. It's getting close with it. Back to the bench. Oh, double knee. knees. Hard knees to the thighs. They hurt as well. Those really hurt. I can tell you now. They've yeah. got some thighs. Oh, they, they do hurt. They do slow you down. It's a cool view at the end of the day, isn't it? It is. It yeah. is. And back to back knees to the quads. You know yeah. about it. But still moving nice and light. There's a Luke switch, switch, switch. Right hand. Absolutely. Light on the feet. Looks very He's going to have the hot finish. Let's go. The body kick again and it slips out of the range. Yeah. Time. There we fight. go. And both these boys. Very technical. Go. Fight number five, three by three minute rounds, full tie rules, judges have made their decision and they have given it to the red corner, Luke Disani. Yeah, as we predicted, no surprises there. I mean, again, if, you, if you're going to continue to take all those left body kicks, it's going to yeah. be very tough to come away with a big W after this. Absolutely. But it was a close fight. They both had their moments. Uh, he was pressuring Luke on the back foot a lot in that fight, and Luke yep. adjusted really, really well, and landing that left kick was just, I think that was the one thing that just could, still could separate him from the judges, to get that big W, so nice. congratulations to Luke, congratulations to Riddlers, and uh, wow, what a great fight. Absolutely, and yeah, a big, a big congratulations to uh, Andrew Rosales as well, Fought, as you say, sensationally, Absolutely. it was a cagey back and forth fight, that big margin would not have been much, he didn't push Luke, Luke just managed to get the chocolates this time.